everyone, Jim Branscombe here for the Cinematic Boy Vlog. Since we're celebrating January Giallo, I figured I would take this opportunity to talk about one of the weirder things that are related to the genre. It actually deals with the band Goblin, who I'm sure most of you know are very famous for doing the soundtracks to several Dario Argento movies, including Suspiria, Tenebrae, and Deep Red. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the film Deep Red and its very iconic main theme. <laughs> But how many of you knew that there was a rap version? That's right, there's a deep red rap. And it's not someone sampling it or remixing it another artist. The person responsible for the deep red rap is actually Claudio Seminetti, keyboardist and pretty much one of the main songwriters for the band Goblin. In the 90s, Claudio Seminetti had still been doing soundtrack stuff for Argento here and there. And I guess he got inspired and kind of felt like, you know what the world needs? It needs a concert video of him and his group called the Seminetti Harder Project doing kind of a promo concert video slash music video type thing where they played a bunch of songs from Argento movies and Argento productions. And so they released this thing in 1991 called Seminetti Harder Project and they do just that. And things I should point out is that Seminetti's wearing a guitar for most of it. I don't know if he actually played this live because it's obviously all this stuff was pre-recorded and they're just kind of playing along with it, but there's definitely times where he's standing in between two keyboards or synthesizers and he's just hitting notes and then he just starts playing the guitar. I'm not sure how that works musically. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but as you watch this video, you will notice that this is kind of very dated, very 90s looks, you know, there's lots of video effects that were very prevalent at the time. But amongst this, you know, they obviously are playing Suspiria and Tenebrae and Phenomena and things like that. But there are two versions of Deep Red and one of the versions is a rap version. Now, back in the bootleg VHS days, I remember ordering a copy of this because, you know, basically it's, you were sold that that the Seminetti Horror Project was essentially a Goblin live show. And it's like, well, sign me up for that. I really want to see that. So I was not prepared for the Deep Red rap. Now, there's a couple things to point out. One, they have a DJ and he's only got one turntable and somehow doing scratching. But then there's Dr. Felix, who is rapping over the song. And you kind of get the impression he's really not in tune with the plot of the movie. And he's just kind of kicking some rhymes. Deep red, the color of the blood that's dripping. All over the place where people die, children cry. What's happened to the human race? So for years between myself and all my cult film friends, we would talk about it, we would reference it, you know. It's just as this weird oddity. And I thought this was this well-known thing. And I remember when Goblin did their first tour back in, was it 2013, I think? And I was making jokes about, you know, are they gonna bring Dr. Felix to kick some rhymes? Uh, no one really got it, and I guess because maybe I'm just a bigger nerd and went out of my way to see the Seminetti Horror Project. But everyone I've ever introduced is people are like, what the fuck is this? And the thing is, it's like, it's cheesy, but it's played earnestly. And, you know, it's kind of fun. It's, it's not really like, if you're expecting some, like, good bars, I mean, it's not really a point. It's just, it's fun and silly. It actually fits with the vibe of the whole Seminetti Horror Project if you watch the whole thing. Dead. That's what I'm telling you. My big question was, who is Dr. Felix? Was this just some guy they found and just put him in there and had him like, here, rap or something like that? Like, because when I got this, it was pre-internet, so there's no information out there about this. So for years, I didn't know who Dr. Felix is. But because we live in modern times and you can search the internet, lo and behold, Dr. Felix or Dr. Feel X, as he later changed his name to, has a website. Now, unfortunately, he passed away in 2017, but it kind of gave some insight of who he was. Basically, he was born in Nigeria and then moved to Rome with his parents, and he got in the music industry. But apparently, he's had a very large and, I dare I say, respected music career. Although it's kind of funny, when you go to his website, you, there's no mention that he had anything to do with the Deep Red Rap or the Seminetti Horror Project because apparently him and Claudio Seminetti directed the whole video. But going over his biography, like I, there's a bunch of stuff in there like apparently he started out as a stunt guy, but he doesn't list any of the movies. Then he said he had something to do with Hudson Hawk, but I 
can't find any way to correlate that other than his website. But yeah, so I finally cracked the mystery of the rapper, Dr. Felix, that appears in the Deep Red Rap. Now, the real question is, why? Why would anyone think this was a good idea? And honestly, it was the 90s and it made sense. And plus, like, if you listen to some of the stuff that Simonetti was doing in like the later scores, like even Demons, his, sound, his cues for Demons kind of have like a hip hop beat in it. So he's definitely interested in the genre and in different electronic music styles as well. So yeah, why not? Why not do a rap version of Deep Red? Do I ever want to see a version of the movie Deep Red where like this is laid in instead of the actual theme? No, not at all. But you know, this is just a kind of weird curiosity of, you know, where Giallo meets 90 aesthetics. And there you go. So that's going to wrap up this edition of the Cinematic Void vlog. Tell me, what do you think of the Deep Red Rap? Is it a, is it a hit? Is it a miss? Or do you just have more questions about Simonetti playing the guitar? Just let me know in the comments or hit me up on social media. You know, let's, let's have a deeper discussion about the Deep Red Rap. One of my favorite oddities that was born out of the Giallo film genre. Until next time, see you in the void, and deep red, you're dead.